In a previous episode of a video on the DataBits channel, you saw how we were able to take a Montgomery Ward record cutter and restore it to working condition. Then you saw how we put the Montgomery Ward record cutter into this groovy cabinet that it's in right now. Then we were able to record onto CDs on the bottom side of them, cut grooves into CDs, and then we were able to actually cut grooves into an RCA Select Division video disc. So, in the evolution of recording onto different various media thingies out there, we have uh, come to the conclusion that recording at 78 RPM was a very limited process and it really was a, a waste of real estate. So, with some help of some friends who are good at cutting metal, I was able to take the motor mechanism out of the talking book machine, I think it was the model uh, A80 or A79, I forget which one, but you also see that in a previous episode. It is a, a machine that had a three-speed motor mechanism in it, 8 RPM, 16 RPM, and 33 RPM, and we've cut into the chassis on this machine and mounted that motor unit inside this one to give us uh, much longer recording times on to whatever medium we decide to record upon. So today, we are going to record on to, you got it, a plastic plate. So if you look here on the right, you can see the name on there. This is a Solo Plate Blue, of course, that I got uh, from Walmart. Paid maybe $3 for the set, for a bunch of them. So what I've done is I have cut the center out here and I have cut the two holes that are necessary to uh, to use this, this new plastic disc on my record cutter. So the first thing we must do is since I pulled the turntable off to show you how cool it looks on the inside with the mechanism, first thing we must do is put the turntable unit back on. So I will go ahead and do that. Now I have placed the unit in 16 RPM because you can't really switch speeds without taking the turntable off using my cool design here. Alright, so we put the turntable back on. Now we are going to place the newly cut paper plastic plate mechanism onto the turntable. Oh, and by the way, while we were at it, we went ahead and replaced this tone arm with the tone arm from the uh, from that unit as well. I had a lot of trouble with that tone arm. Uh, it was a very, very heavy tracking tone arm, and so uh, now I've replaced it with uh, this very cool tone arm from that turntable. All right, so now we have we've retrofitted the cutter here with a needle that I got off of eBay. And this is the needle here. This is a uh, Stellite cutting needle. It has long life and it has a hand polished stylus for home and professional use, made by Walco. Okay, so that's the needle we're using. Okay, I'm going to record my own voice today using this microphone. Now, the thing about this new motor mechanism in here is that when it's recording, it tends to slow the recording down. And then when you play it back, it's sped up slightly. So I um, haven't figured out a way to get around that yet. The other issue I'm having, if, if you happen to be a professional recording person out there watching this, the other issue I have is that my recordings are always noisy. Even if I record onto regular uh, you know, rec blank records that were made for this unit. My records still turn out somewhat noisy. But uh, anyway, just to show you it can be done, we're going to go ahead and place the record head onto the disc surface. Over there. That's a good spot. All right, and then I'm going to, on the front of the unit here, I'm going to switch it to record mic. Actually, it's already on there. I'll test my microphone. Hello, testing one, two, three. Hello, 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 hello. 
This is a test. Testing one, two, three. Okay, here we go, guys. I hope you're excited about this. I know this is really geeky and cool at the same time, but here we go. We're gonna record onto a plastic solo plate. Here we go. Turning on the motor mechanism. You'll notice that there'll be a stream of plastic coming out. I'll do my best to collect it as it comes out. Here we go. Greetings, everyone. This is my recording that I am making on a plastic plate. As I'm recording here, I am uh, recording this for YouTube as well. And I am trying to collect the uh, plastic that comes out as it is cut off of the disc. This is a very difficult process. I almost need me like a little vacuum cleaner like the professionals use because the professionals have like a little vacuum cleaner that's used to, to collect the stuff that comes out of the unit as it is being recorded. I think it would be timely to record something that um, the great forefather of records recorded. And he said uh, into his first phonograph, Mary had a little lamb. So here we go. Mary had a little lamb. Her fleas were white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, her fleas were sure to go. Yes, my friends, that is actually the real uh, version of that nursery rhyme. There were fleas on that lamb. I'm telling you right now. Later, the lamb was used to make uh, lamb chops, so just so you know. All right, so uh, we are recording onto this uh, amazing plastic plate, and as you can see, we are getting a nice groove being cut in as I'm collecting the foliage. <laughs> it's not foliage, actually. It's uh, more like a, uh, a little string of plastic that is being trailed off of this record as we record it. So uh, I hope you enjoy uh, watching this record, uh, or actually this video, because uh, I'm going to go ahead and close it now. Um, be sure and watch the other video that I made where we take the uh, RCA video disc and cut a song into it, which is kind of cool. And then uh, again, on another one, we take uh, a regular blank compact disc and turn it upside down and record onto it as well. But again, recording at 16 RPM is much more fun because you can record a lot of stuff and uh, you don't run out of room within like a minute and a half. So again, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Okay. Of course, we're not really ending the video now, but we're going to uh, play this back. I feel like a comedian or something Idle. holding a microphone. All right, I'm switching this back over to uh, a phono. And let's play back what we just recorded. Are you ready? This is my recorder. thing I've noticed it's pretty uh, muffled sounding and I don't know if it's just because of this microphone or, or what exactly it is this is not exactly the most expensive microphone ever made um, but yesterday I was actually recording off the radio and uh, I'll show you a little bit of that 
because it sounded a lot better. If I can just get the record off this other record player I've got down here, I will show you that. Okay, because you know, you got to test this stuff before you go out and make videos about it. People will think, like, oh my gosh, didn't you ever test this to see what it would be like? But um, anyway, so let's, uh, let's play something that I recorded off the radio yesterday just so you can see. Oh, how it sounds. So with the Phillips foursome, you guys look uncomfortable. Man, it's you with my shirt stuck to my back. My feet are funky. And I'm itchy in all the wrong places. I've heard enough. Phillips foursome, release stuff now. The yeah. gold bond medicated body and foot powders are proven to release itch, odor, and wetness with that cool and feel-good refreshing kick. Yeah. Man, it's itch-free, man. It couldn't be happier to hear that. Gold bond powder. Release stuff now. 7,000 high school students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. So here's a 26-second message of encouragement. Hey, I'm Matt. I know, sometimes you think no one cares if I finish high school, right? Well, I do. You mean thousands of people you've never even met. Okay, here's the thing. When you graduate, you have better opportunities. To make more money, have a cool job, you know, have a better life. The next time you need a little support, a little motivation, it's no damn whole lot of shoulders for you to lean on. So stay in school and graduate. Do you have 26 seconds to convince a student to stay at their desk? Now you can share your message of support at BoostUp.org. We can keep students in school. Visit BoostUp.org and take the first step. Brought to you by the U.S. Army and the Ad Council. All right, so you can see it records off the radio much better than uh, it does when I use that uh, nice muffled microphone. But anyway, you get the idea. So get a hold of a, uh, a record cutter like this one and, uh, and make yourself some records on, on plastic plates. You'll have a great time. Your friends will be absolutely amazed at what you can do and you'll be rich and famous. Uh, don't believe anything I just said. Goodbye.